Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at upgrading the SSD in a ASUS UX305CA Ultrabook. Um, the UK models of this laptop only ship with a 128GB SSD. Um, this is too small for the, what I need, so I have purchased a 256GB uh, Samsung SSD to upgrade with. So to get the base off of this laptop, we're just going around. This is a Torx T5 screwdriver, and we are just removing all of the screws from the base. I believe these are all the same size. I just like to put them down out of the way in the same sort of position as I'm removing them so I can put them back into the same holes. In fact, these centre two ones appear to be slightly longer. Um, looking at it it's not sort of the level of difference you see in the macbook air where you have a couple of screws which are sort of four times the length but there is a slight difference there so you do want to just keep track of where you are taking these out of uh, this is actually quite reminiscent of sort of removing the back off of the macbook air or macbook pro as well where you have this single piece which covers all of the internals. So with those screws removed we now just need to take the two feet off the back of the laptop. If we can just get in with a pry tool under those. And the other side. And these are crosshead screws, so we're just going to change around our screwdriver. And with that done, we should now be able to lift the base of the chassis, hopefully, and that, there we go, pops out there. Now we can see in here, there's really going to be very little upgradable. We've got the battery connector here. so. I'm going to leave that for now, the laptop is definitely off. And we have basically the two upgradable components in this laptop, wireless card and SSD. Uh, we have a light on SSD in here. Now having gone through and opened this up, unfortunately I've realised although this is a new Skylake chipset system, they have put in only a SATA um, M2 socket. So if we take a look here, we have one screw and that allows us to remove the SSD and we were hoping to fit this MVME SATA drive, however we can see here that it has only a single notch keyed in here. Now that matches on this end one which actually there is no notch for on this end uh, but here you have the one which uh, basically these are power uh, and on this end you have one which is used to stop you putting a PCI Express M2 card into a port that only supports SATA. Unfortunately we can see that that has that notch there so it means we cannot use an MV 
M E uh, uh, M2 stick in the UX305 CA. So that means in this case, this drive is going to be going back uh, and I will be swapping it for a standard SATA M2 drive instead. That doesn't mean we can't finish the video, however. Simply to put the new SSD, or in this case the same SSD, back in, we just need to line up that keying pin there, make sure you have it the right way round, it won't go in the other. Press lightly down like that. Put the screw back in and go through and put the cover plate back on and put all the screws back into the base and with that you should be done. Um, I'll put an annotation for how to create a UEFI bootable Windows install stick and also how to install from that and I hope you found this video useful and learn from my mistakes this laptop cannot take an MVME uh, M2 drive it is only SATA thanks for watching